Now it's time to create a Django project. See, I've got my brand new clean terminal window open because I wanna get in the habit of knowing how to reactivate a virtual environment. So I come in here and I CD into my dev folder where I'm holding everything. I CD into my try Django folder where my virtual environment root is. And I just run, well, no, I don't run that virtual env command anymore. We go ahead and run source bin slash activate, right? So that's Linux and Mac users for you Windows users. It's just scripts slash activate. Okay. Um, so if you are in here, you can go ahead and do pip freeze and you'll likely see this version of Django. That's the version we're using. That's the version I recommend that you use as well. Um, so I'm gonna just leave that open right over here so we can always see it, right? Just a nice little reminder. Hey, that's the version of Django I'm gonna be using. All right, now let's go ahead and do that all over again. It's really easy, right? This, this, hopefully this is really, really easy. If it's not really easy and I'm going too fast, maybe just put it on a slower speed. I know I talk really fast, but I try to get it so beginners can keep up, but also so advanced users, like more advanced web developers that are just learning Django, so all of you can get something out of this. That's really the goal. It's, it's, it's a little bit ambitious to achieve, but anyways, okay, so now we're in this virtual environment and I have this command, Django-admin. Um, so Django-admin is a command that will allow us to do all sorts of things with Django. Uh, but the main one is creating our Django project. So Django-admin, create project, and whatever our project name is going to be. Um, now, you could do this right off the bat inside of that virtual environment, but what I like to do is create an SRC folder, as in the source folder of the project, and then I go in there. All right, so if I go back into my virtual environment, I see that it, we have these things in here, right? So I've got the four, pro, the four uh, things related to the virtual environment, and then I have my SRC folder. So I change into that SRC folder and just do Django-admin start project, and then my project name, what am I gonna call it? Well, to be original, I'm gonna call it try Django. That's the name of my virtual environment as well. I realize that, but that's okay. You can name your virtual environment and your Django project the same, because the virtual environment is only for your system. The project itself will be other places, right? So like you'll be on GitHub and there won't be anything related to our virtual environment. So I'm gonna start this project, try Django, and I'll just put a period at the end because I am in that SRC folder. I hit enter and I list things out. I see manage.py and my try Django configuration folder that has the name of, you know, try Django because that's the name of the Django configuration. And if I run python manage.py start, or excuse me, run server, what I should see is it's saying something like this. Yes, it's giving me some warnings. We don't have to worry about that yet, uh, but it is giving me a web address that I can go to. So if I open up my web browser and go there, hey, congratulations, you have Django working. Now, if you're not familiar with Django 2.0 and this is new to you, this is a new landing page that they've created. It looks a lot cleaner. I, I like it much better than the old one, um, for sure. So, so we now have Django working, it's ready to go. So there's all sorts of things that we can do with it. Uh, but before I actually jump in to Django itself, what I wanna do is start working with some sort of text editor, somewhere that I can write the code that is not necessarily inside of the terminal because that gets super tedious for, especially for beginners, it gets very, very tedious to write code inside of the terminal. Um, so we're gonna do something different. In the next one, we'll talk about that, so stay with us.